What's going on, everybody? I want to do a video real quick about a propitiation. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of controversy about did Jesus just die for the ones that will believe in Him? And there's so much scripture. Okay. Jesus died. He was a propitiation for the whole world. That doesn't mean the whole world's going to believe. That don't mean everybody's going to be saved. But it does mean that everybody has a chance. Okay? It's like, was it Peter that said, and he is the Savior, and not only those who believe, but those who, you know, are unbelieve, unbelieve. Uh, he's the Savior for everybody. But you have to believe in him to be saved. Okay? Um, but there's three verses, I think talk about propitiation okay it's gonna go over it and what it means in the Greek okay and this shows that he was the propitiation the sacrifice the appeasement for the entire world the sins of the world not just the sins of the saved okay now only the saved the believing will reap this benefit but that doesn't mean that he only died for them. Okay? Romans 3.25 Whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. Okay? Propitiate, propitiation. To be a propitiation. Okay? It's the Greek 24.35 Hilaster I, I, I'm not sure how you say it, but Hilasterion? 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 Maybe, I'm not sure. Let's look down. Strong's definition. Nutri of der derivative of an expiatory place or thing that is concretely an atoning victim, or specifically the lid of the ark in the temple. Mercy seat propitiation. Okay? That's the. Uh, the Greek 2435 okay and that was Romans 325 okay first John 2 2 and he is the propitiation for our sins and not for our sins only this was John okay this was John but also for the sins of the whole world see this is what doesn't line up with people that think Jesus just died for the believing that he just died for a certain group. No. He died for the entire world. God didn't create some people that don't have a chance. Okay? Everybody has a chance to believe. Free will is a true aspect. Okay? But we can't go to other philosophies and these and things like that to, you know, we need to let Scripture, Bible, interpret Bible. Okay, that's where, when you get into all these other teachings and all these other philosophies and all these other laws and whatnot, okay, and then that's when you start to get off track. And then it can be very serious and it can get very dangerous, okay? Because we know God's Word is the inspired Word of God. All of it. But when we go to all these other ways to figure out Different. I'm not saying you can't use, you know, different ways to, like the Strong's Concordance and stuff like that. I'm just saying when you go to other philosophy, when you, other, like the Bible's philosophy, no it's not, it's God's Word. What I'm saying is if you go to philosophers, okay, to get insight, alright, that shows you, just seek the insight for God's Word, okay? We don't need insight from unsaved philosophers, okay? Uh, we don't need insight from anybody that's unsaved, okay? We just need to let the Bible interpret Bible. Okay, let Scripture interpret Scripture, okay? When we get off track and go to all these other places to find truth, there's no truth in any of I mean... God's Word is final, and it can interpret itself if you let it, okay? And if you interpret in the right way, okay? Okay. 
1 John 4.10 Herein is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us. This is what, on my uh, page, on my YouTube, I have this verse. We love because He first loved us. Okay. He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. But on top of that, 1 John 2, 2, And He is a propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Okay? Now, how could he only be the Savior for uh, a certain group if he died for all the sins of the whole world? It's just like in Universalists say, in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. They automatically say that, oh, all in Christ... Well, all be, yeah, in Christ all will be made alive. You have to be in Christ, okay? Just like Jesus died for the sins of the whole world, but you have to be in Christ. You have to accept Christ to receive that atonement, okay? He didn't just die. See, he died for all the sins, but the ones who reap the benefits of it are the ones who believe. It's propitiation, and he was a propitiation for the whole world. That doesn't mean everybody's saved. That means only the people that accept Christ. But that doesn't mean he just died for the ones that accept Christ. He died for everybody. But you have to accept him. See what I'm saying? To reap that benefit. So all sin is paid for. But to have his payment put to your account, you must accept that payment. And that is by your free will. Okay, God calls people. God draws people. That doesn't mean that everybody that's drawn and everybody that's called, okay, many are called but few are chosen, Okay, it doesn't mean that everybody that's drawn is going to choose Christ. Okay? He will draw all men unto himself. When he is lifted up, he'll draw all men unto himself. Okay? Everybody has a chance. Nobody goes to hell unless they willfully refuse the gospel. Okay? But the Bible says in Romans, no one is without excuse. Okay? Or everyone was, I'm sorry, everyone is without excuse. He won't have an excuse. Okay? But he is a propitiation. But there's okay. And Romans three twenty five. It's the Greek twenty four thirty five, and in First John two two, it's the Greek twenty four thirty four. Okay, hilasmos, hilasmos, hilasmos. Okay, atonement that is concretely an expiatory propitiation. Okay, he is the atonement for the entire world. But the entire world will not reap this atonement because the entire world will not choose to be saved. This blasts Calvinism out of the water because they try to say that since God already knows everybody where they're going to go, that it's like he created some people just to go to hell. No, he didn't. Everybody has a chance. Okay, Just because the Lord knows the future, just because the Lord knows what's going to happen, that doesn't mean that you don't have a chance. That just means the Lord is all-knowing. Okay? And then you beg the question, the question comes up, well, if he knows you're just going to go straight to hell, why are you created in the first place? Well, that's a very good question. Okay? And that's a question, I will be honest with everybody, that I have struggled with. If God all-knowing knows who will choose what, wouldn't it be better for him to not create some people? Wouldn't that be better for them to never be created than to go to the eternity in hell? Okay. Well, you got to think about it. Listen, we think about things differently than God thinks. Okay. In our minds, we can't get around it. Okay. That's why I've been seeking this question to be answered by the Lord with me. We're not going to get all the answers, but I know the Lord will answer the questions that He wills. Okay? In his own time. But I do know this. I do know that God is a just God. He is a righteous God. And he is not an unfair God. Okay? And he gives everybody a chance to be saved. It does seem that he knows where people will go. Why were they even created if he knows they're just going to choose hell? But see, he was, a just, he was just in letting them have that choice. If he never gave them a choice, wouldn't, that would be unjust. He gives everybody a choice. You have a choice once you're created, once you're born into this world until you die, to choose heaven or hell. 
Jesus said today, or Paul said, today is the day of child salvation. Choose. Choose life or death, Jesus said. Okay? But it's your choice. Yeah, many are called, few are chosen. People are elected. Yeah, God chose to save everyone that is going to be in Christ. Okay? He didn't predestinate people and save them against their will and irresistible grace is a lie, okay? God is not a forceful savior. Okay? But anyways, the propitiation. Jesus Christ propitiation for the sins of the world. But to receive that atonement, you must accept him. Okay? God bless everybody. And if I left anything out, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm kind of stressed for time here. I'm at work and I'm on my lunch break but thank uh, God bless everybody really and I know some of us disagree on things but we can't disagree this is concrete okay this is he is a propitiation for the sins of the whole world okay that means he died for all sin but yet to accept that atonement you must believe God does not coerce your will to believe that would be him making you okay that wouldn't that would be an artificial belief that wouldn't be your true choice okay but god bless everybody and uh thank you Bye. have a good day